Solar Science, Virgo Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support. In this reading, we're going to find out who will you be in your next serious relationship with. Today is the 2nd of January, 2023. Time is... Um, one second. Time is 5.44 a.m. Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Um, and Happy New Year to everyone. Please bear in mind that this is a collective reading for Earth Signs. And if you were divinely guided to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same Earth Sign. Now let's get your reading started. Spirits and angels, please show me. For Earth Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, who will they be in your next serious relationship with? Three wands at the bottom of the deck. <clears throat> so the two of cups in reverse can indicate maybe there is going to be a delay um, for this relationship to be taken to the next level. It feels like with the chariot and the hangman here, there's an energy where for some of you, if you've already met this person, um, both of you will be like just talking first, as, uh, just, just being friends first. I feel like it's going to take time. It's going to take some time before it could evolve into a serious relationship. And for some of you, you may just be intimate first, intimate first, and then slowly um, things get serious, okay? So what I'm seeing here are signs for some of you. Six of swords in reverse, the full in reverse, and the seven of swords. Plus, we've also got the chariot here. Um, this is somebody... Whom likes to cheat death, <laughs> if it makes sense to you. Somebody who likes to drive fast cars or fast motorcycles, or, um, or they could love to travel a lot as well because of transportation, or they fly a plane, could be a pilot. Could be anybody, okay? I mean, they could be doing... I mean, they could be a pilot, or they could be a car racer, or <laughs> a bike... How, uh, how do you say? A bike racer? I don't know, but something, something like that. Or if they're not that, um, they just like to drive fast cars or you know bikes. And definitely somebody with the seven of swords. This is the reason why I think this is somebody who likes to cheat death. Or if not, maybe this person has cheated death before. Because the full in reverse can indicate maybe this is somebody who takes a lot of risks in his or her life. I mean. I was just giving an example about, you know, um, maybe it could be a car, maybe it could be a bike, maybe it could be a plane, but it could just be metaphorically somebody who takes risks in life uh, in general. And, you know, the full in reverse, seven of swords, a bit of a cheeky energy I'm getting here. This person uh, is quite cheeky and also at the same time, I feel like the, the, the thing is, this person is definitely a daredevil. Look at the hangman. It kind of makes me feel, and the chariot, looking so confident. So I would say this is somebody who's confident and they w wouldn't even think twice um, to drive a car really fast or, you know, to take risks in your life um, in general. I feel like it could be related to their career. It could also be related to um, just, it could be related to their, um, what do you call either career or that's just their personality, okay? <clears throat> that's what I'm seeing here. And two of wands, see, I feel like when you meet this person, it's going to take a while. It indicates a decision. So this person might decide or you might take time to decide. 
but somebody is going to take time to decide whether to take this relationship to the next level. And another thing I'm seeing here is maybe this person <clears throat> either could be a foreigner or likes to travel. Um, I think I already said about the travel part. Because Six of Swords can indicate maybe this person you know, lives abroad or has lived abroad. Um, Queen of Pentacles and Love Verse. This is you. Earth signs, I feel this someone very, very opposite of you because of the Queen of Pentacles being reversed. So it's like, it feels like this person is an opposite of you. And they are way less grounded as you are. This person could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, or Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could also be a Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? Even though, if, even if this person is an earth sign, I feel like um, this is someone... Even if this person was an earth sign, they, you may not see them as an earth sign. I <laughs> hope that makes sense because it's in reverse. So something about them that is like kind of opposite of the earth signs, but they could still be a, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn, okay? Um, some of you may have already met this person. Some of you haven't met this person yet, so you won't, you won't res resonate if you haven't met this person yet. And the five of cups here is in reverse. See? It's like maybe this is also somebody who's taking some time off from relationships. They could be doing, you know, trying new things in life, exploring. Um, definitely a very cheeky, cheeky personality. I'm sensing young as well, someone young. Even if he or she is older, they're very young at heart because of the fool here. And the chariot seems very confident as in... If they want to do something, they'll just do it, even if it means, you know, they might get hurt from it physically or it could be anything. But I just keep feeling like this is someone who will try and stall being in a serious relationship that quickly as well. So Cubs here in reverse. Yeah. And with it being in reverse, so Cubs in reverse on this same, on this uh, row here, it really makes me feel this is someone who, is, who has your opposite personalities. Um, somebody ex very different from you are, okay, very opposite. 71, I'm seeing, unless, you know, you're the cheeky one and then this person is the grounded one, it could go vice versa, but let's look at the Knight of Pentacles, then finally this person is going to um, commit. Younger, I feel like could be younger than you are, if not, you know, just really really has a very young, cheeky personality, okay? We've got the justice here. So this person may have a job. Again, it may be a, a, a very important job, I would say, or that they come from a family of some status, um, like there is some sort of a standard or status. It could be the mom or the dad, or it could be them as well. Um, could be working for the government as well. Justice could indicate that working for the government or again, could be a pilot, could be a car racer or bike, bike racer. Is that, what was that? How do you call a bike racer? <laughs> I can't even think of that. But three of ones, yeah. This, this is somebody who always, I feel, look forward to do something new, okay? And a three of ones also can indicate maybe this person is of a different background or see there's water here as well. Again, it kind of makes me feel maybe a different ethnicity, different descent, or it could be someone who lives far away from you. Or if it's not that, so someone who likes to, again, travel or take risks, this could also be, you know, this person could also be like a bungee jumping instructor or um, what do you call the ones that you fly out of the plane, you jump out of the plane, <laughs> skydiver, skydiving um, instructor, or it could be someone who likes to do these kind of things. Doesn't mean that's part of their career or job, it could be. But I, or that they're just interested in these things, right? It could also be football or anything. It, it feels international, to be honest. It feels very international. So whatever, that, whatever job or career that they do or what they like to do, it feels like it's something professional, but also it's professional, but it's also very international. So whether they're the same 
same race or same living in the same country or not, but there's something very um, international about them. All right, let me pull up a few more here. <clears throat> Got the hermit. See, justice also can indicate maybe this person, you're going to end up marrying this person, right? And then the empress here as well. Um, it's also a marriage card for me because the empress is a married woman. Doesn't matter, male or, male or female, it's not gender specific. But this uh, hermit here could be a Virgo, could be any sign. Again, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, King of Swords here in my verse. This is someone, again, I feel like they will take a long time with the Knight of Pentacles as well. Take a while before they commit, or it could be you taking a while to commit. And look at these two cards here. Um, there's a difference. Maybe there is an age gap, or one of you will be the, the one who is slower in committing, but will commit eventually, obviously, we're asking the question, right? Will you be in a in your next year's relationship with? It could turn into a marriage, because the hermit here it does feel like, um, again, the hermit is also a very slow energy because um, the hermit is wise. When you're wise, you're not impulsive, so you're gonna take your time or take some time before you decide. Or you know, and the hermit also I feel this person, even though. I think the per this person likes you or would want to commit to you eventually because they think you are someone w uh, really wise, okay? Or someone maybe you're older than them or that you're more experienced than them. And also that you are somebody very giving, very nurturing, very caring, and they see you as like a full package, like you have the full, a full package. See again, King of Swords in reverse. Doesn't matter. It, it feels like they want to be serious with you, this person. Um, but will take his or her time again to commit. But both of you will end up committing to each other. I feel. But also another thing. I've already mentioned this one, but it, I I keep seeing how this person and you are really, really opposites of each other. Something very different about the two of you that's it's like maybe opposites attract that's what i'm getting here and five of swords here is in round first so no no more playing games eventually i feel like both of you will settle down we'll get married with a justice um definitely justice is a marriage card all right earth signs virgo taurus and capricorn this is your reading hope you resonated in some way shape or form if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with couple of playlists on the screen right now. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. It has all of the readings that I've done for you. And for the rest of the... Uh, for you and for the rest... What? <laughs> one second. <laughs> I got a little bit distracted. Yeah. I'm going to leave you with two playlists. The first one is from my second channel. It's a travel vlog channel. Check it out if you want to. And the second playlist is from this channel. has all of the readings that I've done for you and for the rest of the signs for different topics and different questions. But these readings are still very new because I post them every single day. I upload them right away, so they are very, very up to date, okay? Take care, signs. Happy New Year again. Hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow. Bye.